Okay, so I did wake up at 2 a.m. So what? It might be like noon. I'm just saying. Yeah, maybe I should sit. You can really tell that I'm actually taking part of uh, No Shave November because I really look like a homeless guy. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, I just wanted to say that in the last video, I actually wanted to show the chair, but uh, due to YouTube's compression, you can't see anything. So here's an actual first look at the chair. So first of all, the colors are nice as shit. I think this is the best combination, black and red. My soul and my blood. And also, as someone who has been watching Netflix for the past two days non-stop, and I'm not exaggerating, I finished two seasons of La Casa de Papel, which is long, and also watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine without stopping. Being able to lay back and just watch stuff is really great. Also, I said that you can actually sleep on the chair, so you can just pull the lever back and fall. <laughs> Hence why I'm gonna be using my bed as ouch. This is really comfortable. If you're not fat like me, that wouldn't be a problem. So if you want to know more about the chair, check the description. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Travis Scott type beat. I've actually been meaning to do this for a while, but I uh, didn't for some reason. I don't know why. So first of all, when you want to make a Travis Scott type beat, you need to know a few things. The track has to be vibey, but it doesn't have to be cluttered. You need to leave some space so you can actually add the vocal. So I actually started on this beat with a piano. Omnisphere is broken, so therefore I used Splice. So you're gonna have something like this. So just do some simple notes and a chord progression and as you can hear you can just use gross beat or half time and you can achieve this uh, slow down effect at the end of the bar. Then you would just EQ it, get rid of the low frequencies but not the bass frequencies, like not completely because the piano is gonna sound really weak if you remove the bass frequencies. And then you can kind of drown it in reverb, not that much, but just add some reverb so it's, you know, a bit more ambiental. Like, you want to have a pretty decent, uh, lengthy trail. And that would be it for the piano. Then for the second melody, I used a flute because it sounds cool in trap beats. Also for the flute, I used a sample because, once again, Omnisphere is broken. And if you remember the video that I made a while ago, or not so long ago, on um, alternatives to expensive plugins, you're gonna get the exact flutes that I used, and they sound like this. For them, I used once again an EQ. I actually got rid of the bass frequencies completely, and I did a high cut because those frequencies were really ear piercing. And uh, once again, I drowned it in reverb. I actually turned down the, the dry knob and uh, the wet knob all the way up to 70%, so normally it's gonna sound like this. So, not as vibey. Then for the intro section, kinda, um, I made a really simple hi-hat pattern, which is actually the same, or the main hi-hat pattern for the whole thing, which sounds like this. So it's a fair amount of uh, of rolls too. So as I said, it's a basic two-step pattern with some extra rolls. You can find out how to make uh, hi-hat rolls in one of my videos, you can just look it up. And then um, I added an open hat. That's not an open hat, that's a low hat with a delay on it. And then I added the open hat. And that's it with the hi-hats. Then for the main drums, I actually used a less punchy kick, just something that still hits hard, but not as in your face kind of hard. You know what I mean? Like it's a bit more um, normy, I, I suppose. Then for the 808, I actually tried to make something a bit more melodic and I used a um, this 808 and uh, the pattern sounds like this. All I did was just 
remove all of the mid frequencies and the high frequencies and I did a 50 hertz cut because uh, parametric EQ2 kind of has a bleeding effect which means that it's not gonna do a perfect hard cut so I'm kind of compensating you know small dick but a big truck kind of thing that makes no sense I don't know and also an extra low cut on uh, the mixer EQ then I actually stacked a uh, really overused snare with an overused clap and you also cannot forget about this snare and then as I said the hi-hats and a um, crash and to make sure that it's actually a Travis Scott beat I uh, recorded myself saying straight up straight up together everything should sound like this that's pretty much how you make a Travis Scott type beat. Of course, you can add a lot of crazy synths and really uh, reverby synths, but that's really up to you. Depends what kind of Travis Scott type beat you want to make because not every single beat is going to sound the same or is going to be in the same uh, structure slash type. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again shout out to genesis for hooking me up with the chair and i'll see you guys soon uh if you have suggestions please let me know in the comments because i'm running out of ideas and that would be great peace yeah.